On my 40th birthday, which my husband had forgotten, I found myself at a charming French restaurant, courtesy of an invitation from my mother-in-law, Haley. As I savored each bite of my meal, Haley's thoughtful gesture brought a touch of warmth to the otherwise overlooked occasion. Unexpectedly, Caleb, who was supposed to be at work, strode into the restaurant with a woman I didn't recognize. Their demeanor left no doubt. They were a couple. A surge of irritation washed over me as Mary U by Bruno Mars began to play from a distant table. In the midst of the melody, Caleb dropped to one knee, offering the woman a bouquet and a ring, uttering those timeless words, Will you marry me? Amidst tears of joy, she accepted, and the surrounding patrons erupted into congratulations and adoration. Exchanging glances with Haley, I forced a smile and with a knife in hand, approached Caleb to offer my congratulations. What a wonderful proposal. I'm genuinely envious, I remarked, trying to mask my inner turmoil. Caleb, oblivious to my sarcasm, replied, You never did anything like this for me. Those words finally caught Caleb's attention, and his face paled in realization. My name is Kinsley. I continued, dropping the charade, I live with my husband Caleb and my mother-in-law Haley. I reflected on the complexities of our relationships, how Haley, despite the societal stereotypes, had been a pillar of support, while Caleb's attentiveness had waned over the years. Our marriage, once filled with promise, now bore the weight of unspoken truths and neglected celebrations. As days turned into years, Caleb's absence grew more pronounced, his excuses more flimsy. Even on our anniversary, his priorities lay elsewhere, leaving Haley and me to pick up the pieces of our shattered expectations. Yet, amidst the disillusionment, Haley remained steadfast, her unwavering support a beacon of hope in the storm of Caleb's indifference. And though Caleb attempted to mask his guilt with belated gestures of affection, the underlying truth remained unchanged. On my 40th birthday, as Caleb's message flashed across my screen, I couldn't help but feel a pang of resignation, a silent acknowledgement of the distance that had grown between us, and the birthday wishes left unsaid. I got a sinking feeling from the moment I woke up that morning, and true to my instincts, it seemed he had forgotten. Really, forgetting not just the anniversary but your wife's birthday too, Kinsley, Haley's voice was filled with genuine sympathy. I'm so sorry for my foolish son. No, Haley, you don't have to apologize. Please don't worry about it, I replied, trying to brush off the disappointment. Haley, however, had a solution. As an apology, though it might not seem like much, I had a hunch this might happen. So I booked a table for two at a French restaurant near the station. Luckily, a cancellation opened up a spot at a good time. I thought if Caleb remembered, I'd let you two go. But since he didn't, how about we go together? It's my treat today, really. Can we? French cuisine and near the station too. That's a popular place, isn't it? I asked, surprised by the offer. You're exaggerating. It's the least I can do to make up for my son's oversight. The French place has a broad clientele and a casual vibe, and there are plenty of affordable options. I'm sorry it's not somewhere fancier. No, I'm thrilled. Thank you so much, I express my gratitude. While it's about time for our reservation, shall we head out? Haley suggested, and we left for the restaurant. The atmosphere at the French restaurant was indeed casual, as Haley had described, with a mix of patrons, including some flashy-looking young people. I felt relieved. An overly upscale place would have made me nervous. The young diners seemed to be enjoying themselves, chatting and taking photos with their smartphones. Perhaps they were YouTubers reviewing the restaurant. Once we were seated, Haley handed me a beautifully wrapped, fairly large box. This is a present from me, she said with a warm smile. A present? Thank you, I exclaimed, surprised. Inside was a brand new bag that I had been eyeing. Can I really accept something this nice? Thank you so much, I express my gratitude. Of course, Kinsley, you've always been so helpful. Please accept it as a token of my appreciation, Haley insisted. I was deeply touched by her gesture and felt blessed to have such a kind mother-in-law. Well then, shall we start the birthday celebration? Haley announced, and our dinner began. True to its reputation, every dish served at the popular French restaurant was delicious, nearly making our cheeks fall off. The courses progressed smoothly, and just as we were about to finish the main meat dish, Haley suddenly fell silent and turned pale. Haley, is something wrong? I asked, concerned. She pointed tremblingly towards the entrance behind me. 
Kinsley, look, turning around, I couldn't believe my eyes. Caleb, who was supposed to be staying overnight at work, entered dressed in a stylish suit, accompanied by a young woman in a neat dress. Caleb was escorting her arm in arm. I thought I was mistaken, but no matter how many times. I glanced back, it was definitely Caleb. I was so shocked that I forgot to breathe for a moment, watching the two of them. Caleb, looking happy, didn't seem to notice us at all. Kinsley, is this? Haley trailed off, her expression mirroring my own disbelief. Probably, but should we watch a little longer? It's not confirmed as cheating yet, right? I reasoned, my mind grappling with the surreal scene unfolding before us. Confused, we decided to continue our meal while discreetly keeping an eye on them. Fortunately, Caleb's table was far from ours, and he, being in high spirits, didn't notice us at all. I hoped it was all a misunderstanding, but Caleb and the woman looked unmistakably like a couple from any angle. Was Caleb cheating with her all this while, claiming he was busy with work, facing a crisis at the company, forgetting our anniversary, my birthday? Thinking about it, a deep anger welled up inside me. Suddenly, Caleb formally presented the woman with a bouquet of roses. The atmosphere shifted as Mario by Bruno Mars started playing in the restaurant. It's a surprise proposal, murmured the surrounding customers, their attention fixed on Caleb and the woman. Even the young YouTuber at the next table started filming them. Listening closely, I could hear Caleb saying something to the woman. I'm sorry I can't always be by your side, but Ellie, I want to make you happy, he said, offering her an engagement ring. Will you marry me? The woman, tearfully accepting the bouquet and ring, replied, I'm so happy. Yes, I will. At the same time, warm applause and voices saying congratulations filled the air. The song reached its climax, heightening the atmosphere. I can't believe it. Not just cheating, but proposing. I whispered incredulously, still trying to process what I was witnessing. Glancing at the woman Caleb called Ellie, her face brimming with pure joy upon receiving the proposal had a refined and graceful air that didn't seem to belong to someone who would knowingly get involved with another's husband. Of course, appearances can be deceiving, but still. I looked at Haley, who seemed to be waiting for my reaction. That foolish son. We can't let this go, she declared, her eyes holding a quiet rage. Yes, Haley, I affirmed, determination solidifying within me. Taking and using knives from the cutlery box, we held them in one hand as we made our way through the other customers towards Caleb. Congratulations. What a beautiful proposal. I'm so envious, I said with the biggest smile, masking the storm of emotions raging inside me. With all the composure I could muster, I thanked Caleb. Still buoyed by his obliviousness, he responded without realizing it was me. You never did anything like this for me, he remarked. Those words finally pierced his unawareness, and he turned around cautiously. Upon seeing me smiling, his complexion paled. Kinsley, why? Why are you here? We came here at Haley's invitation, right? Caleb stammered, seeking confirmation from Haley. I turned back to Haley, maintaining my smile, and she nodded in agreement. Exactly, but I'm surprised. Who would have thought my son, who was supposed to be staying at the company because of its critical situation, who was already married to Kinsley, would be proposing to another woman. Can you explain what's going on? I questioned, my tone controlled but firm. Upon noticing the knives we were holding, Caleb's complexion turned even paler, but he managed to stammer out an excuse. It's, it's not what it looks like. What do you mean, not what it looks like? This is, um, not a proposal or anything. She's a junior at work. I just wanted to thank her because she's always working hard with me. And since it's her birthday today, I was just giving her a present and celebrating. Caleb attempted to explain, his words falling flat in the tense atmosphere. His clumsy excuse only caused more speculation among the onlookers. And it clearly looked like a proposal. What are you trying to hide? He's already married, really. Even the staff at the restaurant were puzzled by the situation. Thought it was a successful proposal, but then the wife shows up. Looks like we've stumbled into a real-life drama. So it's emergency live streaming time, commented the YouTuber, starting to film us. Undeterred, I pressed on, focusing on the sapphire ring on the woman's left ring finger. Interesting. A bouquet of roses and that ring, which obviously looks more expensive than the one you gave me as a birthday present for your junior, huh? That's, well, by the way, today is my birthday too. 
Did you remember that? I interjected, watching his realization dawn on Caleb's face. What have you been saying since earlier? A junior, a birthday present. But who are these people? The woman confronting Caleb clearly did not know he was married. If she had known, she wouldn't have failed to recognize me as his wife. I introduced myself to her with a smile. Nice to meet you. I'm Caleb's wife of five years. He's always in your care. I emphasized the word wife particularly strongly. I am Caleb's mother. I had no idea my son was in a relationship with you while already having a wife, I stated firmly. Haley introduced herself to the woman with a full smile, but the murmur around us grew louder. His wife? So he really was married, proposing to another woman while married? That's the worst. Poor wife. Take back my congratulations. What a real-life drama. Are they shooting a drama or something? More onlookers gathered around, the woman turning pale at our introduction, muttering, No way. Then, with tears in her eyes, she glared at Caleb. These were tears of a different kind than those of joy she had shed earlier. What do you mean, Caleb? You never told me you had a wife. No, it's... Ah, Caleb stumbled over his words, attempting to explain. You're married and you proposed to me while having a wife. What does that mean? I've always trusted you. The woman's voice trembled with hurt and betrayal. It's not like that, Ellie. It's not an affair. I was serious. I intended to marry you. That's why, before, before getting married to Ellie, I was planning to divorce Kinsley. Caleb confessed, stopping himself mid-sentence, realizing he had dug his own grave. So you admit to the affair? The mistress was also deceived. Wow, that guy is the worst on so many levels. Criticism towards Caleb from those around us grew even larger. This is definitely a showdown. Saw something incredible. The stream is hitting an all-time high. The YouTuber was excited, as if he had caught something great on camera. You were planning to divorce me and remarry, surrounded by three women and the focus of everyone in the restaurant, I remarked, incredulous. Caleb was sweating profusely. Suddenly, the woman stood up. In the next moment, she swung her purse full force and smacked Caleb right across the face. The sound of the hit echoed throughout the restaurant and the previously buzzing crowd fell silent for a moment. Caleb groaned in pain, holding the spot where he was hit. At that moment, thunderous applause erupted from around, even louder than when the proposal was accepted. Way to go. Serves that loser right. Wow, caught an amazing moment on camera. The woman without looking back at Caleb took off the ring slammed it on the table, and ran out of the restaurant, leaving the bouquet behind as well. Caleb, having been hit with a hard purse, was still groaning in pain. Are you okay? I couldn't help but ask, to which Caleb looked at me with tears in his eyes. Then, as if driven by some thought, he stood up and without caring about the onlookers, began to apologize. Kinsley, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. What are you doing? I just lost my mind for a moment. Caleb pleaded, the weight of his actions finally dawning on him. I truly love you, he said, as if those words alone would somehow make me forgive him. Are you okay? Caleb's attempt at concern felt hollow, considering everything he had done. What does he mean by just lost my mind for a moment after he planned to divorce me and even proposed to that woman? The crowd seemed to share my sentiments, mercilessly mocking Caleb's disgrace. You, apologizing like that here is so cringy. This guy is pathetic, after proposing and all. What's he even saying? They really say you're the only one I love after cheating, huh? People started filming Caleb with their smartphones. When I deliberately spoke in a kind tone, Caleb lifted his face, showing a relieved expression as if he thought he was forgiven. Of course I had no intention of forgiving such a man. Looking down at Caleb, I said in a cold voice, You were planning to divorce me, right? As you wish. I'll divorce you and I'll be seeking alimony for adultery. I won't ask it from her. She seems to be a victim, too. Caleb's expression turned from relief to utter despair. No, please, I won't do it again. Wait, today's your birthday, right? Then let's celebrate your birthday here, all three of us. That's fine, right? I'll make it up to you. Here, take this. In a desperate attempt, Caleb offered me the bouquet and ring that the woman had left behind. I was beyond angry. I was dumbfounded. Did he really think giving me something he intended for his affair partner would make me happy? Wow, giving your wife something meant for your affair partner? How stupid can this man be? It seemed everyone around us was taken aback. 
The sapphire ring Caleb was offering naturally was not my birthstone. Stop this disgrace. Prepare yourself to pay alimony to Kinsley and to that woman you were proposing to as well. Haley scolded Caleb. Why to Ellie as well? You pretended to be single and deceived that woman. In that case, she has the right to claim compensation for the violation of her chastity rights. Don't you even know that? Furthermore, I'm disarming a scum son like you, Mom declared, her voice firm and resolute. Mom, you're joking, right? You're abandoning your own son over this, over this after deceiving two women. You think over this is going to cut it. Caleb's pleading tone wavered as he tried to comprehend the gravity of the situation. I'm not joking. As of today, leave the house and never show your face again. A man like you is no son of mine. Mom's words were final, leaving no room for negotiation. Caleb broke down, crying and huddled on the floor. Haley, who detested dishonesty, could truly not forgive her son's actions. There was no falsehood or hesitation in her declaration of disownment. The drama seemed endless, and the YouTuber's broadcast was more popular than ever. The emboldened YouTuber approached Caleb with his camera, saying, Rejected by the mistress, divorced by the wife, and disowned by the parent. You've lost everything, huh? How do you feel now? Attempting to escape the broadcast, Caleb stood up and tried to flee the restaurant. Wait, don't run away. Haley grabbed Caleb by the collar, but he fell backwards onto the floor with a thud. The onlookers burst into laughter, finding the situation amusing. Caleb, at a mature age, started crying like a child while lying on the floor. It must have been the pain, humiliation, and shame reaching their limits. Haley and I were troubled. We couldn't cause any more trouble for the restaurant. Surely the restaurant staff must have been thinking, what a day this has turned out to be. Stop crying, pay the bill, and let's go home. I commanded. Haley and I lifted the sobbing Caleb paid the bill, and repeatedly apologized to the restaurant staff and other customers for the inconvenience. A grown man crying in public like a child, leaving his mother and wife to apologize for his actions, was truly pitiful. The YouTuber was the only one who said, No, no, you gave us something good to watch. Thank you. On the way to the municipal office in the car, Caleb thrown into the back seat cried his eyes out, begging for forgiveness but both Haley in the passenger seat and I driving ignored him the entire time. After picking up divorce papers at the office, we headed home. Then Haley and I forced a reluctant Caleb to sign the divorce papers, kicked him out of Haley's house along with his belongings, and took away the keys. Caleb banged on the door, yelling, At least let me stay tonight. But all I replied was, I thought you were staying at the company tonight. The next morning, after staying at a hotel, when Caleb went to work, it seemed the whole office had learned about Caleb being married while proposing to his mistress, deceiving her, and his disgraceful behavior in the French restaurant. As everyone looked at him disdainfully and whispered behind his back, apparently, the YouTuber's live stream and uploaded video from the previous day quickly became a hot topic. With tweets from those present, photos of Caleb apologizing and falling, clips from the YouTube video, and other angles filmed by other customers circulating online, Caleb's lowest moments in disgrace spread across the internet. The office was abuzz with rumors, and the notorious video had many highlights from the proposal to the wife's appearance, the mistress hitting him, apologizing, divorce, and disownment declaration, and the fall, attracting viewers who love satisfying stories, dubbing it real-life satisfying drama, with views skyrocketing. The video titled The Man Who Proposed to Another Woman while having a wife loses everything, Egan made it to compilation sites. You're seriously messed up, man. What the heck were you thinking? Your life's over, Caleb was told by a close colleague, turning his face ashen. No wonder his disgrace was floating forever in the sea of the internet. However, Caleb's misfortune didn't end there. He was called into the president's office that very day and was fired. Caleb, what have you done? Caleb's affair partner Ellie turned out to be the daughter of a major client CEO. The client CEO found out about the video through rumors among employees, and after watching it became furious upon discovering his daughter had been deceived. Our client is furious with our company. I need you to take responsibility and resign, he was told. Caleb couldn't offer any defense. The truth was he had approached Ellie knowing who she was, hoping to benefit from her status, even aspiring to possibly become the next president through her. There was no room for excuses now. Jobless.
Caleb found it impossible to get hired anywhere else as his disgrace had become toy fodder on the internet, known to every company's HR department. I relentlessly filed for alimony against him and Ali, too, filed for damages against Caleb for deceiving her into a relationship under the pretense of being single, violating her right to chastity. You enjoyed dating me, too, right? Why are you demanding alimony from me? I've already lost my job. Give me a break, Caleb pleaded. But such an argument was futile. In their last meeting, Ellie coldly told him, Every moment I spent happy with you is now a dark history. Under the watchful and intimidating glare of her father, the company president, eventually Caleb had to pay a hefty sum in alimony to both me and Ellie, forcing him to take on debt. He finally got a job at a labor-intensive, understaffed factory known for its harsh conditions, where he worked exhaustingly hard, hiding his face with a mask. Too busy to even come home, Caleb's lie about his work became his reality. In a male-dominated factory and too busy to find another woman, it's unlikely any woman would be interested in Caleb after such a public downfall. Now, Caleb is afraid to even show his face outside, always wearing a mask when he does. Honestly, I never imagined things would turn out this dire, but it was all Caleb's doing. The saying goes, bad news travels fast. But in today's digital age, a digital tattoo remains forever. A frightening thought. Haley apologized to me numerous times, saying I'm so sorry my foolish son caused such trouble. I can't believe I raised him to turn out like this. It's not your fault, Haley. Having you on my side was truly reassuring. Thank you. It's not uncommon for some mothers to blame the wife when their son cheats, defending their son by saying it's the wife's fault for being inadequate. I'm grateful Haley wasn't like that. Yet it makes me wonder how Caleb turned out this way, despite being raised by such a respectable mother, I said. Thank you. Would you mind staying in touch? You're already like family to me, and even if you divorce Caleb, I'd like you to stay here, Haley proposed. Yes, I'd also prefer that. If you wish so, after such an exchange, we continue to live together and get along like a real family, I agreed. Later, Ellie also came to apologize. Though I didn't know he was married, I'm truly sorry for having an affair with Caleb. I was too shocked at the time to apologize. I'll also pay the alimony, she said. Please don't apologize. There's no need for alimony. You're a victim of that man too, Haley added. That's right, Ellie, you're not to blame. If anyone should apologize, it's me for raising such a foolish son. I'm sorry, Haley expressed. After our conversation, Ellie insisted on making amends and ended up treating us to coffee. Now, the three of us occasionally get together for tea, having become good friends.